Hey guys, I got a super cool Rockstar owned guitar here to share with you guys. Here we go. This video is brought to you by Swiss Picks. It's not just a pick, it's a science. Available at Zim's Guitars or at www.swisspicks.com. Okay, so Pete is here with me. He owns this guitar. How are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. We're back for another one. And, uh, yeah, what are we looking at? Okay, so what this is, this is Chris Holmes of Wasp. This is his 1984 Jackson Holly Davidson Star. And um, yeah, this was used on the uh, second record, The Last Command. Uh -huh. And uh, he used this on tour. It was in tour books. It was on the back cover of... Um, and actually, it ended up on the back cover of the third record, which was uh, Inside the Electric Circus. So it's like a it's like a brief, like a little short picture of it back there. So early '80s wasp yeah. guitar. Yeah. Chris owned this thing. Fortunately, yeah. Lita Ford didn't destroy this one or anything like that. It looks like Chris took care of it. Yeah, you know, Chris. You know, it's funny too because Chris didn't actually have this too long. Um, now, from the last video we did with the Chris that's why it's in good shape. Yeah, <laughs> of the last video we did, I know a lot of guys were upset about you know. The blood star and a lot of people said you know give it back to chris give it back to chris but right um so with this guitar you know this is a weird story with this one so this was actually said that he lost this in a bet and that comes from randy piper oh wow yeah, the Ross guitar player i i don't know the the specifics of the bet but anyway it was um this was lost in a bet supposedly it was um found in a pawn shop in la in 86 or 87 wow i, I think like 87 and then um yeah, and then it went through some collector's hands um, until it got to mine. So this guitar was in a pawn shop. It was, it was. And, um, you know, it didn't sell for a lot in a pawn shop, but it was, you know, right after he lost it. Um, so some of the cool, so yeah, it went through a bunch of collector's hands, maybe like three or four guys before it, it came across my desk. But um, some of the cool things about this guitar um, is um, the yellow binding. You know, generally you don't see Jackson's, you know, with the yellow binding. The more or less the artist guitars would get the colored binding or the you know uh -huh. in general. So this is a pretty cool option to have. Uh -huh. <clears throat> the paint job there was only one Harley Davidson Jackson ever made because it was basically un. Uh, you know they didn't ask for permission, so they just did the one for Chris. Right. Um, one cool, th interesting thing about this, just like Chris's other guitars, he blew the pickup up because the guy used to sweat so much when he played. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, he would short pickups out. So on the original pickup, though, the pickup actually had the graphic on it. Oh yeah. They painted the graphic on the pickup. Yeah, that's unusual to see the graphic up here on the pick guard. Yeah. Uh, I mean on the uh, pickup ring and everything. Oh, yeah. So you know it, it's kind of silly how they did it, but you know we could still tell it's a Harley Davidson logo. Mm -hmm. Um, this one <clears throat> doesn't have the brass insert, uh, big block brass insert like the other one. This is mm -hmm. more like the Randy Rhodes, which would this would be used more on the Randy Rhodes string throughs. This kind of bridge. Um, it's got the brass, you know, brass saddles and um, um, single volume, single volume no tone control. Always, yeah. And um, again, too, if we come down here, you know, the fingerboard. It's an ebony fingerboard. Um, there's no markings, just like on Chris's Blood Star. I don't know. He didn't, <clears throat> you know, because the other guitar he had the crosses on it. You know, he had uh -huh. the, the cross markings, but on these two. You have any markings at all? Was it ever refretted or anything? To your no, knowledge? no. This is all original because um, right. after Chris had it, you know, it just stayed more in the hands of collectors. You know, right? Yeah, I, I play it, but I have a light touch, so I don't, I don't bang them up. Right. Um, what else we got coming forward here? We have a cool yellow Jackson logo, which is cool. Um, yeah, with you're the yellow right. binding. You, you don't see this binding no. like that. No, you really don't. So, so uh, Chris had this made by Jackson in 1984. They made that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And there is um, some fun things on this guitar. I can't really show you the serial number, but oh, no, no, you don't do there that. is. Uh, let me just take a look at this guy here before we show you this. Yeah. So if we look at here's the original build sheet. If we want to see this here, right in the yellow there, to go with the uh, binding. So we got Chris Holmes, one hum, and there's the guitar. Nice. And this is from the Jackson, you know, the, the original Jackson log books. And it's a photocopy of that. Of uh, Where was the Jackson factory at? What city was that at in 84? Oh, yeah. So basically this would be a San Dimas Jackson. Okay. But the company was actually located in Glendora. 
Okay. But San Dimas was the post office, so we always oh, yeah. San Dimas's, but essentially they're all Glendora guitars. And um, so cool, cool. So flipping this over, we got some other neat stuff back here on this guy. Oh, yeah, is our yes. is our ride hard, die fast, <laughs> and the. Um, What's pretty neat about Super this is, cool. yeah, the font is actually done in the Back to the Future font oh, of the day. You know, that was a big movie. So yeah, and someone told me yeah, it's the Back to the Future thing. Um, what else we have uh, coming over here? We have the Frankenstein's uh, Dorito sticker that was put on by Chris. Oh, how cool! Supposedly, so we keep it on there. You know, we don't we don't modify that. Uh, just kind of neat. So we kept our Franken sticker on there. Uh, what else we got going on over here? So yeah, just like the um, the Blood Star, we have the just the circular route with no cover on it, and there's your pot in there, uh -huh. which is kind of neat. Uh, the back of the guitar, yeah, I mean he um, you know did a little wear on the back because that's what he does, and on the uh, corners. But essentially, it's this it's, is super cool. Yeah, it, it is pretty clean. It is pretty clean for you know Chris guitar. <clears throat> and the, the model of the guitar is a Jackson Star. Yeah, this is a Star body. Okay. Now neck through. Um, yeah, another thing, um, yeah, these are the original brass strap buttons, but they're, Chris had this thing bolted in with a strap when I got it. Uh-huh. Uh, with a lightning bolt strap that was supposedly Ace Freely's. But we oh, wow. We don't know. <laughs> so yeah. I just put the original strap buttons back on just for while I have it. Uh-huh. Um, in the back here, too, what's kind of neat about this is... Once we come under here, we're going to see that, you know, he's got the Fender jack plate. Right. Which is, you know, kind of on the EVs, there would be up here, but at the Fender jack plate, again, he moves the strap button. Oh, uh, yeah. Just like he did on the other one, to exactly the same uh, spot, probably because of his size. Yeah, he, he's a big guy. He's 6'3 six, or 6'4 six, or six, something. 6'6". Six, six. Yeah, he's a monster. Oh, crap. And, and probably with the strap button here, it's, it's probably just how the guitar balances for him when he's standing with it, you know? Yeah. And uh, yeah, like I said, we'll get you some pictures to see. This has been in tour books and other stuff, and we're going to hit that in a minute. Okay, let's look at some pictures. Okay, cool. So this is our pictures part of the uh, segment. And um, so here's the Wasp inside the Electric Circus record. If you could look kind of closely, this is signed by the entire band. Unfortunately, it's with a big pen um, and not a Sharpie marker, but hey, we got them all. And on the back of this guitar, you can see the Harley Davidson guitar right up against the girl's leg there, or right uh, behind her leg. And there's that guitar on the cover. So here's another shot of the guitar in this Japanese tour book. I just hope that's oh, coming cool. through pretty good. Oh, here he is in the, uh, with the football helmet on with the guitar and that's where the original pickup is you can see how it has the graphic on it still oh uh, yeah and the original pickup so yeah so um yeah this guitar was very heavily you know known at the time you know and then i have another cool thing for you guys so if you guys remember the young guitar magazine from japan they actually did a little segment on this on chris's guitars back in august 86 oh, and, wow. and here's that page showing you know the harley in the back of it and all that yeah, and what was this guitar? Oh, that was the one that became the Charles Manson guitar. Oh, great. So, <laughs> this is an early one with, um, you know, the Almond Animal. That's from the first record with uh -huh. the crosses. But then he has Charles Manson's face here in the middle now. Oh. And he took the J off Jackson for some reason. So now oh. it's just an Axon. And uh, you can still huh. see him playing that in, in his band. And, you know, and just the Chris Holmes band. So, uh, yeah, so this is the, uh, the original 1984 Harley-Davidson guitar. And um, what's interesting about this, too, is we can't really show you, but with the serial number of this guitar, generally they would, you know, the serial number is right here in the fingerboard. Uh -huh. And it would say, like, J-O, you know, 390 or something. Yeah, they would use little <clears throat> things and pound so it pound in there. In, yeah. Uh -huh. So on this one, this guitar, all I'm going to say is it was not meant to be a star. So when they started with the center block, it has a different serial number as to what it is. <laughs> oh, wow. So that's kind of, yeah, one of like the secrets of the guitar. So the people who have owned it, you know, they know, but then it's like mm -hmm. a hush-hush thing. Don't mm -hmm. tell anybody, you know? Um, yeah, so let me see also. Yeah, so this is uh, used on tour. And uh, and like I said, for all you guys, I know you get upset about giving it back to Chris or, you know. But look, someone's got to own it, you know? And... Um, you know, when these guys get rid of their stuff, it's it's a sad day, but, you know, unfortunately, you know, it's going to be somewhere, you know? 
So we hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is the second of our Chris Holmes series. And yeah, uh, yeah this is our original Harley Davidson Jackson Star. A 101. <laughs>